and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about another bike that's out there that was suggested to me by a viewer. And that bike is called the Motor Goat version 3. So I went and checked out the bike on their website and uh, this thing is pretty good. It's got some uh, good things to offer. It features um, some pretty good stuff. I'm going to go over some of the features on this bike. I'm not going to go over everything, but I will leave a link in the description if you want to go and check it out. But I'll uh, give you some of the uh, features that stand out um, and uh, for me. So first off, right off the bat, the first thing that's a definite two thumbs up for me is that the fact that it's a 60 volt and that it's the uh, scrambler style, moped style uh, e-bike that I like, like the one I'm riding right now, the Lyric Graffiti. And besides it being 60 volts, it has an impressive 2000 watt motor. And I believe the motor is a uh, geared hub uh, motor. And that motor, I believe, I'm going off memory here, I believe it peaks at 2600 watts. Um, well, you're going to have some pretty good power at, at uh, 60 volt uh, and a 2000 watt motor. Uh, another thing that's a plus on it is it does have a 50 amp controller. So you got your 60 volt 50 amp controller. The battery. So we're talking 60 volt. It comes with a 25 amp hour battery. But for an additional $600, you can get an additional 20 amp hour battery uh, to give you a total of 45 amp hour. So I think it's worth it for a $600 uh, um, price to get yourself a an additional 60 volt. Uh, 20 amp hour additional uh, let's see so it does have 110 newton meters of torque which is very good uh, let me get by this car here It does have a full twist throttle. It's a seven speed. It does have four piston hydraulic brakes. The bike weighs 103 pounds and it has a weight capacity of 450 now that's a lot that's that might be the highest that i've seen yet out for an e-bike i believe i think like i've seen some that are 400 but i don't know about 450 that's if it's not the most it's as much as i've seen anyway i haven't seen any more than that the seat height is 33 inches For me personally, that's probably about maximum the height that I would want. I wouldn't want it any higher than that, 33. 31 to 33 for me is, is in my uh, good zone. The tires are Innova uh, 20 by 4.5. 
turn around here. I went into a dead zone here. It does have a full suspension with adjustable front and rear. It does have headlight, taillight, and turn signals and brake light. I believe it has fenders as well. It has a horn. And the top speed with no weight on it is 50 miles per hour. So with weight, depending on how big of a rider you are and and where what terrain you're riding on and all that good stuff all those conditions are going to affect it so um you're probably going to be in the 40 to maybe 40 to 50 they're saying but say 40 to 45 maybe you're probably going to be uh a good bet to at least get 40 miles an hour i would think So the bike is on pre-order. So I uh, put it in the cart. It's listed at regular price uh, $27.50, but they have a pre-order sale right now. If you buy it, I think it's you got to hurry up though before January or as we get closer to January, I think they'll be shipping it and. Uh, the price is going to increase but i don't know exactly when so you might want to uh, act on this sooner than later but uh so the regular price is 27.50 but they got it down to 20.99 but then when i put it in my cart i got it down to 18.89 there's a current christmas uh sale for 10 percent off so that took it down another 210 dollars to 18.89 which is really good 60 volt first of all it's hard to find 60 volt bikes out there and to get a 60 volt uh, bike with a 2000 watt motor for under two thousand dollars is practically unheard of so um, that's an awesome deal and then even if you throw in the 600 dollars for the additional battery that would take you to 24.89 under 2500 bucks for a 45 amp hour 60 volt 2000 watt motor 50 amp controller four piston hydraulic brakes full suspension it's a really good looking bike as well um that is uh i mean these deals just keep getting better and better this is an awesome deal i think Like I say, I will leave a link in the description if you want to check out the bike and all more specs on it. I just gave some of the specs, but not all of them. The bike does come. There is an option to have pegs or, or pedals or no pedals. Personally, I would take the pedals. And it is free shipping within the uh, continental U.S. Definitely check it out if you're looking around for a bike and you want something that's got you want something that's got a little bit of get up and go. I mean, I. Uh, I really liking the 60 volts uh, that are starting to come out there more and more. And uh, gives us more options with a little more power. I'm particularly thinking of hill climbing. I want to go to the next road here. Actually, I want to go to the next one. Definitely check that out. I'm going to go one more. 
I had not heard of it, uh, this company at all, until a viewer uh, pointed it out to me, and uh, I had to go check it out. If you have any uh, suggestions of bikes for me to go and check out um, that I may have not even known existed, uh, leave a comment in the comments. I'd be uh, most interested in checking out what's out there. I try to keep up with what's going on out there and what's out there, but people are suggesting bikes to me that I have not even heard of. That's really cool. But yeah, this is a good find. This one, this is the uh, the Motor Goat version 3. And they do have a few other uh, bikes on their uh, site if you want to check those out as well. I will leave a link in the description. We're getting some uh, decent weather here. I'm really liking this sunshine. Late December. Comfortable temperatures. I say bring it on, bring us more of this. Well, thank you for coming along for the ride on this video and and our talk on the new bike that's currently on pre-order, the Motor Goat V3. And if you haven't already, and you would like to, please uh, hit that subscribe button and join us. Uh, we're getting uh, a lot more newcomers to the channel and thank you for subscribing and being part of the Oregon eBiker Mark channel and helping us grow. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And we'll be back to do it all over again very, very soon.